Greetings, suns and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into clarifying this energy. If you haven't checked out part one, there's a link for it in the description box below. Now, somebody was very tolerant, I'm hearing, of someone's malicious ways or evil intent, okay? Somebody could also feel guilty. You may have um, reached out to this person. I'm hearing multiple times. You tried to befriend this person, um, maybe speak some sort of truth to this individual, or they tried to you. Nonetheless, there was a blind faith or loyalty devotion to someone that had very evil intentions, okay? Um, they were very tolerant of this person. I don't like to use tolerant, but this person is very arrogant, arrogant uh, very cop cocky, superficial. They don't know or don't care about the repercussions of their actions here. This person lacks maturity. They may come off a little bit bratty here, okay? Um, I do feel like there was a breakup, okay? If somebody was very codependent and uh, I mean, this could be you or this could be a third party, but nonetheless here, somebody realized how they got themselves in this situation. And I feel like somebody moved on, okay? Uh, if this is you, you moved on. When you moved on from this individual, you took your power back in this situation. You may be working on uh, a new project or uh, something like that, and you're gaining some sort of victory after coming out of karma with a karmic person, somebody that kept you mentally inflicted, or this person um, is, okay? Seventh house, why is this here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Dreaming, so yeah. Somebody's going through some form of ascension. Somebody's also uh, putting into action some sort of dream, yeah. Um, somebody needed willpower. They needed strength here to overcome this partnership. Now, if this was a group of people working against you, because for some of you that, that, that is, this was a test of your endurance, a test, of, a test of your strength. So definitely we're speaking about a past situation, regardless if this is about a relationship, about a bunch of people coming together to, um, be a blockage, but ultimately what it was, was a test. Okay. So I'm somebody that talks about spiritual gatekeeping. Okay. We hear gatekeeper and we, we automatically put a negative um, connotation, if that's how you say it, to the word. But it's more like, um, how I like to explain it is the six of swords. Like in the traditional tarot, you see someone that is rowing the boat with two people inside or whatever it is. That person that's in charge of steering that boat is how I like to attribute a, a spiritual gatekeeper, okay? They assist in some sort of transformation to get you from one point to another, okay? So we got will, the part of the mind with which someone consciously decides things, the power to make decisions, the use of the mind to make decisions about things, the, ter the determination to do something, a desire or Incl inclination to do something, outcome, uh, ambush in the shadow. We got the shadow card here. Caution, prepare carefully and work against the corruption. Action, stand your ground. So this is on what I believe to be the hermit card, right? Um, I don't really read, I didn't really read this book, so I'm going off my intuition, right? Um, this is someone that is usually a humanitarian. OK, this is someone that uh, is humane. They're not really judgmental. People may be judgmental of this person. OK, I'm hearing down to earth. This is someone that's down to earth. Right. Um, and so this person may have took up a stance uh, in this situation. If this is someone, again, that's a spiritual gatekeeper someone that is appointed by the divine, not someone that appoints themselves, then this is someone that wants to trust and believe in the people that they partnered with. So it definitely took willpower, strength, and courage to face this. This is someone that did not realize why they were in this position, how they got in this position. This is someone 
that may have had passion for for this person. I, I wanted to say you, but it could be you. Um, but whoever, I feel like this is a third party. That's why I'm saying it like that. They had passion for someone that they were in a partnership with. Now, at some point, they became mentally conflicted or you became mentally conflicted because there was a contract here. This person was being restricted and bound. Now, or whatever this contract is, they had to complete it. It had, they, it had to be um, lifted. So even if they walked away or you walked away in the past, you were still under some sort of karmic contract. OK, so it's kind of like you completed one lesson and now you're undergoing something else. Now, for some of you, this is like it's having something to do with your stability, your success here. Um, you may have give, given your power away, but I feel like when we get here, this gets to the deceitful intentions of those that you may have encountered while you were going through this transition or transformation. So if this is like a twin flame thing, regardless if you want to be with this person or not, you were helping each other, whether if you see it like that or not, because these were tests put in your pathway um, for you to overcome and or for you to repeat. So at the end of it, will your heart be as light as a feather? Somebody tried to place so many burdens on whoever this is. They essentially wanted you to trade places with them and become as bitter um, as they are. Okay. Somebody wanted someone to feel trapped, but there's a victory here because somebody's moving forward here. Um, why is the brother of water here? Loss. So something was revealed about this family member and or someone whose intentions, intentions just wasn't nice. This is someone that, again, they become really bratty. Uh, they act immature. They get aggressive. They want to, you know, they want to brawl with you. This is somebody that is codependent. This could be somebody that you have a child with. They have a child with. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Why is Mercury here? Perfection. Okay. Stamina. Interesting enough. So for some of you, um, you're showing up as a third party, regardless if you're with this person or not, because they have a contract with you. Um, this is someone that no doubt cares for you. You care for this person or you will when you um, you finally meet this person. You may have a child. You may be wondering if this person will be good to your child. They definitely will be. Okay. This is somebody that's very caring and they are, they could pick up on people's abilities. Okay. So I feel like this person and this reflection energy is the same as this person uh, with this magician type card, uh, Indigo. They could be some form of a star seed. Okay. Yeah. So this was destined. This was destined. Somebody had to overcome this humiliation here. They may possibly be going through that still, or you are, take it how it resonates. But there's definitely success here on the table. Okay. Um, but somebody, I feel like somebody underestimated somebody's obsession with trying to swing things in their direction. Yeah, Sage of Chalices, come on now. This is a feminine... The ultimate feminine, like the empress. Um, this is a leader. And there go the ADAP, right? This is somebody that was trying to cipher or siphon off of this sage. Like, um, before, like in one of the collective uh, reading, somebody put, at, you know, the definition of ADAP. And, and that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. This is somebody that went to Google and they Googled ADAP and they said, this is somebody that's mastery and this and that and that. And it's kind of like trying to call me out. But now that I have these cards here, an ADAP does not compare to a sage. Although they may be skilled, they seem skilled in people that are uh, in their environment that are low vibrational, people that they are able to control, okay, deceive, charm, but not someone that's in the sage, okay, uh, type of energy or even a master, OK, 
okay? Jealousy. Okay, this person is green with e uh, envy. They're also very codependent. Now, for some of you, this is an ex and this is a group. If you're dealing with some sort of group stalking here, you're dealing with people that lack empathy. They operate out of a very low vibration. They really just don't care about nobody but themselves. A grievance is significant. Okay, maybe you're taking up some sort of action, some sort of paperwork. For some of you, you're getting a restraining order or something like that. Somebody could be testifying as well with expression, assertiveness, and grievance here. So with difficulties here, uh, I feel like somebody had a hard time facing the truth. Or maybe you had a hard time coming to this conclusion that... Uh, I'm here, you had to take it this far. For some of you, you don't want to deal with institutions, especially if this is a family member, but somebody's overgone here. Um, this person needs help. You may not be able to help this person, even if you are a healer of some sort. The type of help this person needs comes from the divine. If this person is not willing to surrender, then they're not open, okay, um, to healing. You got to want to heal. Look at that. You may have tried to speak some truth into this person. They may have tried to come at you with this ax here. They don't want to hear none of that. This is somebody that's trapped in their pain. And no doubt they have pain. They may have even have a significant reason to feel that way, but not to do it to innocent people, people that hasn't done anything to them. This is someone that will try to prove things to people that are lower, low vibrational as them, but they take advantage of people's innocence. And that's why I feel like that may have happened in whoever's uh, energy, maybe yours too, but whoever these people is that's coming up against you, somebody, you know, their innocence was tampered with. And so that's what they're doing. Um, to other people. Now, I do like to, you know, say when I talk about heavy things like this, if you're experiencing any mental issues, physical issues, um, health issues, DV, uh, seek out the proper authorities. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. Why is Saturn here? Ether, show me what it is. Karmic relationship. So that's a groom. So no doubt somebody's a husband in this situation. But you know, some of you, you know, that is my that's man card. So even though it says groom and we all know that a groom is a husband, that's also my best man card. So this is somebody that had multiple karmics in their situation, multiple people that, um, you know, was was their adversary, was their rival. And for some of you, this is a family member of this person and or yours. OK. Um, that was a karmic. So there's a cycle that is in the process of being complete with this four of power here in reverse. Somebody definitely stopped footing the bill for something or somebody is worried about their livelihood. They're worried about being locked up. Something could also took place when somebody was in the midst of a transition and or actually isolated, maybe even in court. OK, there was a lot of deceitful things happening surrounding finances and partnerships. OK, um, somebody may have attempted to make you feel like you weren't enough. Okay, if that's the case, that could have been a false flame or someone that you had a heavy soul tie with, someone that came in and out of your life. You may have even thought that this was your divine partner. Okay, vice versa for the person that is truly your divine partner here. Okay, and what I'm picking up is this is for somebody a false flame and they are in a karmic situation. Am I saying that you're wishing that this person be in this energy? No, I'm not. What I'm telling you is um, you're definitely feeling the brunt of not being in your energy and how you take that is up to you. For some of you, you may get a phone call or something like that from an institution surrounding a family member or this person is getting a phone call surrounding somebody that lacks maturity OK, and in the first reading, it talked about someone having a child with brothers or with maybe two males that grew up together. Could be can be two females, but 
Y'all get what I'm saying. Why is this brother here? Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. Brother of fire. Separation. Yeah, so somebody did not want you to leave their environment. I mean, leave, yeah, leave their environment with this uh, brother of fire here. This is somebody that caused a lot of chaos and conflict. They wanted you to be doubtful. They wanted someone else to be doubtful. Now they can't sleep because the actions that they took. Okay, this person may be crying a lot. I'm here for the first time. Um, they're, they're, they're going through some sort of uh, breakup here, but I feel like it's delayed with this separation on top of this brother of fire. I feel like it's delayed here. Somebody may be trying to delay some sort of justice here. Or, yeah, or that's what... They attempted to do to you or you attempted to do with this to this person. Why is the moon card here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Photograph, mirror, and engagement ring. So for some of you, you may have had a child with this person again, or this is surrounding someone that has a child. Maybe there was some sort of confusion around um, around that. For some of you, you may be waiting for DNA results of some kind here. Moon, not today. Somebody does not want to hear from this person that may be institutionalized. Okay, somebody played a lot of games. Are they doing? They they play a lot of games in secret. They think they're hidden, but they're not. Okay, this is somebody that wanted you to struggle, but they are in the midst of a lot of struggles because all that is. We got the five of wind in reverse and we have the five of fear i mean the five of uh, fire uh in the upright and so what that is telling me here um the five of fear which would be with the swords this person does not um look like they don't really care about how this played out in your life, in other people's life, even if it was children involved. Okay. But I feel like somebody's backing out of a game here. Things is, or somebody's getting locked up. Somebody has to focus on their own uh, situation here. So it's kind of like things become balanced now. Okay. And if that's the case for you, you're going to gain some clarity about what was going on with your rivals, what was taking place um, in secret. With the shadow being here, okay, it was, it's like a web of deceit, okay, a black widow could be involved. Um, this person may be having to go along, like people could be walking away um, from this person. For some of you, they may admire you or you admire whoever this is, but it's kind of like a nice, nasty type of energy. This is someone that could possibly be in your environment, in your workspace, or this is you. And you think that you're hidden. Um, you know, whoever this is, they do heavy manipulation during the moon cycles, heavy manipulation, okay, um, to mask themselves. But someone is not entertaining the BS. They don't want to entertain the BS. Make sure to beef up your spiritual practices. I'm hearing three days before and three days after. Um, this person may use nails in their spiritual rusty nails or something like that is what I'm picking up. Um, we got expect a powerful change, new moon eclipse. Is it, it, we have an eclipse. It, it may be a new moon eclipse as well. I have to look that up. My apologies for the interruption. However, I just wanted to clear this up. The new moon is on June 17th 
and 18th, depending on where you are at. There's also a void, of course, happening at the same time. I believe the dates are the 18th through the 20th. Now, what I can say, during this time, you want to beef up your protection rituals, okay? You may also feel a little sleepy and or drained. So if you have your protection tools, such as crystals, you may want to set your intentions for them. However, what I can say is if anyone is planning on doing something deceitful, it will not pan out in their favor. Now back to the reading. And it has, uh, nothing will come of this situation, the void, of course. I feel like there's something happening, um, astrologically pertaining to the void, of course. But for me, spiritually, this talks about things that took place in the dark, okay? A lot of uh, false starts, a, a lot of not actually knowing why things happen or what took place, okay, specifically, is because this manipulation that somebody was, was using here. Yeah. Um, somebody's definitely malicious uh, with their intent here. Okay. It could possibly be because you walked away or someone knows that you're going to walk away. Maybe they wanted you to walk away. I'm hearing from your career choice. Mother of fire, why is this here? You can show me what it is I need to see. So, pretends to be your twin. So, that's that false flame um, energy. So, this is someone that was pretending to be your twin or this person's twin. Um, this is also someone that may like put a mask on to pretend like they are the per perfect person for whoever this is. Okay, this this queen of wands here uh, in reverse. Okay. This person, I feel like this person is very cold. They may use SEX as a means to control someone. Somebody may have felt like played here. Maybe because, I mean, we're talking about the hermit and the mother of fire. If you like, uh, you went through some sort of spiritual transformation, lust may not have been appealing to you or whoever this is. So they may have lost attraction for this person. Okay. This is somebody that would try to tempt you. They may be overly, you know, you know, the queen of wands could be like very aggressive, uh, very promiscuous. And this is someone that somebody was partnered with. Um, that this is like a group thing where you had people, had your adversaries here. The Queen of Wands in reverse is also an indication of someone that does spell work. Why is the coming soon? So this is about a baby. It's about a baby. Somebody is definitely pregnant. Okay. You may have uh, a, a child with this person or they have a child with someone and there may be another one that someone is trying to keep someone stuck. That that one may be questionable. Uh, I've been picking up the energy of someone that may be incarcerated that is also um, pregnant or maybe you were conceived while your parent was incarcerated. <sighs> yeah. So mm, I, I feel like somebody indulges while they are with child. Man, I'm, I'm not even. Um, fear in reverse. So yeah, somebody's trying to keep a cord on someone. I got that, promiscu that promiscuity. Somebody was trying to keep someone trapped also. 
uh, using a child and I feel like it, it's somebody's uh, keep getting the best man the best man somebody's best friend someone you grew up with hopefully not your actual sibling maybe a half brother I don't know but somebody overstepped their boundaries in this situation and they're praying okay that this child is not your brothers or this person's brothers or friend or whatever okay this is somebody that's that's evil they're wicked they're also used to getting what they want because they're very their outward experience uh, exterior may be attractive but it's also elusive and if they're doing some sort of spell work maybe they did some glamour spell or something to make themselves appear more attractive is having adverse effects or reactions somebody's having some sort of reaction here chemical reaction so, yeah, so somebody's trying to keep someone trapped with the commitment card coming out. We got law of all said, be prepared to sacrifice your old life for your new one. So somebody's definitely trying to keep someone trapped in a karmic relationship, possibly using a child. Somebody feels like they are not enough or, uh, you know, they feel like this is not enough to keep this person stuck. Okay. But that's not an excuse. Okay, that's not an excuse for this person to stay. That's how they feel. So we got the mother and or wife. Okay, we got the 777 card. You could be seeing 777, uh, but somebody's definitely tapped in. Okay, somebody could have seen something online pertaining to someone's sibling, family member. Because we got it's time to dig deeper. There's a spiritual partnership you are overlooking. Okay, and that's why I got spilling the spilling the beans with the five of water here um, in reverse. Somebody's definitely moving on. Somebody's recovering from a toxic relationship or a toxic environment or or some sort of misfortune, addiction, or something like that. It's like somebody's in a fog and or a haze currently. Somebody didn't want something, someone to see something, see the truth. Possibly about this family. You can show me what it is I need to see. Why is the daughter and the wife card here? Love is your energy and a shaman. So I feel like this is my collective's energy. This is why you... Um, you had this temptation coming from Beelzebub. This is somebody that drains energy. They could be into vamping or they are associated with someone that is or they do some sort of a manipulation with divination mentor. OK, um, you may have been trying to coach this person. That's what I'm getting uh, for some of you. You could have a passed over mother figure that is helping to guide you. OK, we have you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplish, uh, accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lesson. Ask for guidance. So for some of you, your spiritual team has you in their wings or arms, but you have to ask for guidance, ask for help because they're not going to intervene without they can't intervene without you reaching out and calling out um, for help here. OK, um, that may be. I'm hearing this person's last chance, whoever this is. But for some of you, you're being guided out of a very toxic situation. OK, again, I feel like this is someone that you have children with or they have children with. OK, somebody could also be a life coach as well or. Um, high priestess, hierophant type of energy. And what I mean by hierophant type of uh, energy Somebody knows what to say. Um, you may be someone that gives good advice. Okay. They may have went to the wrong person for advice. You know how that go. Um, let's see. Anything else in reverse? Nope. That's it. All right. So I hope I gave you some clarity. If not, maybe the next reading will suffice. Until next time. Deuces.